everyone. Welcome to Scratch Coding Ninja. Hello everyone. So today's lesson is going to be about Hangman. Hangman is this little cute guessing game where you you will uh, want to guess a word, the letters of a word. So we yeah, let's just start the project. So let, first I'm going to demonstrate to you how I'm going to make it. So if we start, guess a letter that is four letter that is for a four letter word. The clue is that it's related to a clock. So the word I chose was time. So if I type each letter, T, I, and this, in, this can also be in any order, like it should be. So I can write E. I still get it correct and M time you win the word you were trying to make was time okay and if I fail like if I just get just do some random words yeah it says wrong try again in capital letters mm -hmm. Okay, but yeah, um, I hope you're interested. And before we proceed any further, please write what you want me um me to talk about in my next lesson in the comments section below. I would be happy to hear that. And with the, and yeah, let's just start making Hangman. Okay, so um we um. Like always, I want, or most of the time, I would want you to start in this normal scratch place. So the first thing I think you should do first is to create the 11 sprites of the hangman person thing. Or not 11, but yeah, however, how many sprites you want to make. So what you're going to want to do is go to paint. You can, you want to, and, and first just leave the first one empty. Click duplicate and then draw a line. We want to duplicate that again. And this time we will draw our, both two lines. And then we will duplicate that again. And then we will draw our third line. So just like that, you will um find yourself drawing or want to find yourself drawing a hangman a person getting hanged so yeah i'll meet you up once i have completed after that's done after we created our um sprite 2 where we have our costumes what you want to do is you want to um, go to Scratch Cut and define um, like a bunch of variables. So what I want, so what you're gonna want them to be is like I've already done them. One, one correct. Two, two correct. Three, three correct. Four, four correct. You want to define a variable called inputs and sprite one costume. So I'll show you what you want to do with them. So first. Let's um, set one to T, which is our first letter of our, yeah, um, first letter of our word that we want. And then we have two, which is two correct. And setting this to, we're setting this to I. We're setting three. We want to set three to, oh wait, uh. We want to set three to M. We want to set four to E. We duplicate all of this and we want to set one correct, two correct, three correct, four correct. So what this is going to do is this is going to determine whether um our whether our answer is true or false so we what we want to do is we want to say false for all for all, for all of them
false, false, false. Now, um, we want to, um, and now we want to define what is Sprite One costume going to be. So when green flags clicked, forever, um, set Sprite One costume to costume number. It's gonna forever change what a sprite one costume to whatever the costume number is. So in this case, it should sh it should say this costume number is two. If I say um switch to costume one, if I if I go ahead and click that, it's gonna say one. So yeah, this is what Sprite One costume is. And now we wanna have a repeat loop for the Sprite One. Um, repeat until um, Sprite, I mean, Sprite One costume equals 11, since that's the last, uh, since that's the last one that we have. So yeah, um, repeat until sprite one costume equals 11. And now we wanna add an if statement saying, now we wanna actually not, not, add, not the if statement, but we want it to ask to guess, guess, guess the, guess a letter from a four letter uh four four letter word the clue is that the word is related to a clock so as you can see here we have our um, question and now we want to write if the answer to this equals one equals one then say we want we want to say correct correct and we want to change Oh, actually no actually not change but set one correct like the this variable to true and now we do the same for for uh for the two uh two three and four one Two, three, and four seconds. Actually, not seconds, but yeah, four. And we want to convert this to two correct, three correct, and four correct. One correct, two correct, three correct, four correct. And now what we want to do is um now um we want to um, we want to uh um wait a sec uh, so what no, what we want to do now is to t is to um create the place where um our hangman will be hanged so what you want to do is you want to get a if sta if statement and and search for and so inside this and loop um if answer does not equal to one act like the variable one 
if answer does not equal to the variable one and the answer does not equal to variable two and uh, we need an and statement again and and the answer does not equal to does not equal to variable three and four like yeah hope i'm not getting you confused i oh, gotta zoom out three And um, answer does not equal to four. Then uh, let me just write that real quick. So yeah, um, if if answer doesn't equal to one, nor does it equal to th two, nor does it equal three, and and also, if it doesn't equal four, then we want to broadcast a message. We're going to write a new message and it's going to be called wrong. Let's say wrong. And now, um, what you're now, um, yeah, uh, here if it says when I receive wrong, we want you want to say when I receive when I receive wrong, then say sorry, but you were wrong. Try again. And here when it's when I when it says um when I receive wrong, then what we want this to do is to next switch the costume. Next costume. And now, when now look um, when it says guess a letter from a four letter word, then it'll just then let's just say D S G A H A. S, yeah, okay, whatever. And now, as you can see, the, yeah, um, our new letter, our new, um, sprite is getting generated. So, yeah, now, now that's, now that's good. We want to write a state, another statement, which says that whether if you won or not. So, um, if we, if we just delete this thing, bro, um, just delete this broadcast. And now what you want to do is you want to say, if, uh, if one correct equals to true. And two correct equals true, and three correct equals true, and four correct equals true. Actually, we don't need this and. But if that if that's the case, then we want to say you win. The word you were trying to. Yeah, um, first let's just say, you win, win, scrub another sentence, the word you, ah, you were trying to 
make was time and we want this program to say it for a longer time so let's say 10 seconds so it should it should be somewhat close to um what we want to do so let's just preview it guess a letter from a four letter word let's say time t for time i m okay now let's say a and e you win the word you were trying to make was time so yeah we pretty much did hangman so um i really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you next time thank you for watching my video if you have any questions please write them down in the comment section below if you liked the video please click like subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can get notified when i upload my next video